I'm making beef and broccoli stir fry with brown rice. So check it out. It's about to be good, y'all. All right, guys. So I'm about to start making my protein for my um, beef. Well, I'm using this gluten flour. This will actually help me make my seeding. Normally, one serving is one fourth of a cup, but since I'm making some for um, my whole household, everybody want to step over to the vegan vegetarian side today. So I'm gonna do uh, a half a cup. And then what you want to do is put whatever extra seasonings that you want to put in there before you boil it. So I have my water on the back um, out boiling right now. But what I'm going to do is put a teaspoon of seasoning salt. I'm going to do a teaspoon of black pepper. I can get it open. And then I like to do the Goya total seasoning. You don't have to put these seasonings in there. I'm picking my own seasonings. This is my own recipe, so I'm just doing what I like. I just want to mix that up. Now I just added about five tablespoons of water. And you see how it's looking? All clumpy like that. That's actually how I want it to look. So I can form it into my, my meat. And I'm just working those seasonings in there. So once I get done boiling this, it's actually going to expand this gluten flour. And it's going to be much more than this. So um, what I'm going to do is take my shears. And I'm just going to cut this up into little pieces that are going to be my pieces of beef. You can make this how big or however small you want to make it. Usually when I'm making this, um, it's for myself. So I only use a fourth of a cup of the wheat, the gluten flour. And then I only use like two tablespoons of water. So uh, this one, since it's kind of new to me, making it for everybody, uh, I kind of had to fill it out just to see how much, exactly how much water it would take for it to become the proper consistency. And I'm not making the chunks too big. Like I said before, they will expand some more when I put it in the water, but I put about a half a pot of water in there. And you can actually put some vegetable stock in the water if you want to, but I just didn't do that because um, I have a vegan beef base that I'm going to be putting on this after it boils, which is similar to uh, the bouillon cube, and it's a lot of sodium, so there's people in my house who don't need a lot of sodium, so just for them, but this is how it looks before you put it into your pot. But just for that purpose, otherwise, I would have put it in there because I'm not washing my sodium intake. But for them, I would do that. Alright, and I'm going to let that um, boil for 30 minutes. So right here you can see I have my veggies already cut up. I have small whole peppers of each one of these. Um, and then my carrots and then I have a small onion. And then I have some mushrooms. 
mushrooms. So I'm gonna let that boil and then I'll saute all of this up and you can get it ready. Okay y'all, so my seating has been cooking for 30 minutes so it's time to take that out. And while it was cooking and expanding, I was actually using my shears to cut it to make smaller pieces. So you can also do this so that you can have more of your protein when it's done. And if you have any kind of base, a vegan um, beef base like I have, or if you have a vegan uh, chicken base, then you can make this into a chicken stir fry. But I thought um, beef and broccoli stir fry would sound so good. So I almost made a catastrophic mistake because at the beginning, I definitely forgot to add my broccoli to the mix. So what I did was um, I cut back on half of the veggies. So I took maybe about a half of each pepper and a half of the onion. Um, just so I can add about a head and a half of a small head of broccoli. So looking for my all right, so this is what I'm using, guys. If you can see that, it's my beef, uh, vegan beef base. I actually got this off of Amazon. Um, so two two teaspoons is equal to one cup of broth. So I'm just gonna put that on there and mix it up. And I wanted to do that on just the on just the um, seating because I wanted to really soak that beef flavor up into the meat before I actually put it into my veggies. Now I've actually been sauteing my veggies um, for about the past 10 minutes and I used uh, coconut oil to saute my veggies. And then I actually did put about a tablespoon or two of vegetable stock in there so I broke down as you can see my veggies are sauteing and I wanted those to be pretty much almost done when I went ahead and stuck my beef in there it's almost it was bold hot as you can see that I'll mix that up and now I'm seasoning this to taste this is my own like I'm not following a recipe that I got offline or anything so I'm just going to um, taste as I go and then I'll, I'll put my seasonings underneath the description of the video so I'm going to add that's about two tablespoons of minced garlic I want to taste a piece of this uh, beef to see if it has enough of the flavor. It's good, but I will actually do maybe one more teaspoon. Just put it all over. I really want to taste that flavor. You don't have to do that, like I said. Just be mindful of sodium intake and everything. I'm gonna add my soy sauce.
little bit of my tomato seasoning. A little bit of pepper. I'll add this little salt. And that's it. Hey guys. Some air hugs, y'all. Welcome to Vibe Vegetarian. Um, I am Latira, aka your favorite cousin. And as promised, today I have beef and broccoli stir fry with brown rice. I forgot to show y'all I made the brown rice while I was stirring up, uh, while I was stir frying my vegetables. But if you like me, I can't make rice to save my life or your life. So um, I made some straight mini rice, it's brown rice. Um, you can season it how you want, but that's what I have. So let me go ahead and just give this enough taste. I did cheat and add some more soy sauce on here because I like a lot of soy sauce, but my husband, he don't really particularly care for it too much, so I didn't put too much in there while I was making it, but Hmm. Okay, so it's good, but it's not fast. So I think what I would have did differently is, well, definitely next time I make this for myself, I'm going to boil my seating with a little um, of the vegetable stock. So I can soak up some of that flavor, some of that beef flavor. And then, mm. i probably use another teaspoon of the beef broth or the beef uh, stock after I get through boiling it. So, feel free to tweak this however you want while you're making it. I was trying not to be going too crazy on the sodium, but apparently I need sodium. <laughs> mm. That's still good though. So how y'all doing today? I feel like I really had a a pretty long day out. As I was getting towards the end of making this, I was just getting tired. I was like, okay. You know how you just feel tired all of a sudden, like it just hits you out of nowhere? That's how I was feeling today. Forgot to add the broccoli. Forgot to tell y'all about the rice. Forgot to give y'all some. Look at this. I'm tripping. Yeah, hold on, next thing. Hold on. So, 
try to get a little bit of everything in there. I can give y'all some. Mm -hmm. I think the guys will like this. Mm. Man, I'm so happy it's Friday. I started to um, put on something cute. Put on a little makeup and do my video today. I'm such a time boy, y'all. My man changed real quick. I was like, you know what? It'd be a struggle for me not to pull up with some uh pajamas on some days and do this <laughs> do this video. I just be I'm at the crib in the comfort of my own house. I know y'all see me, but that's how comfortable I be. I'm not, I'm really one of them kind of females. Like, I just wear makeup if I'm going out to the club. Or something like that. I probably got to feel like, and I probably got to feel terrible in order to just put some makeup on. Cause you know how sometimes you don't want to look how you feel. I just. Mm mm. I thought about it. My man changed real quick because, first of all, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> then I'm like, mm. I have to wash all this makeup off just to sit down and watch TV. Negative. I ain't doing it. I'm so sad, y'all. My loctician is retiring. I was just looking at my hair. And it's getting a little bit longer, y'all. About to have some bottles. I've been growing my locks since last February. It took me a while to actually finally decide to do it. I was talking about it for a long time before I actually did it. But... After I did it, it was really one of the best decisions I feel like I made. And now, he wanna retire on the first. So I had to slide in, get my last lock do, my last retwist before he leave. But if y'all have in, in Atlanta, go to Cut Creators, the one in Decatur. That's the one I go to. I'm really salty. I'm like, well, now I gotta find somebody that. Else that do hair there, so I can keep going there because I definitely will continue to support his business. Excuse me. That thing was good though. 
So I'll put what I use. I'll put also some suggested tweaks just so you won't be sent off when you try to make it for yourself. And then if you got your own way of making your own stir fry, use your own regular seasons. I don't really, this not something I make a lot. So, I just kind of use the seasons I know I like to use. But, to each his own. It was good. Thank y'all for joining me again. And I love y'all till next time.